So after all too much drama, we do have a bit of good news that the Rugby Championship is set to go ahead in Queensland. So the competition is going to continue over in Australia um, in, uh, in mid-September. September 12th is when we are due to have round three of the competition. These games are all going to be double headers. They're going to be hosted in Queensland. Apparently the Queensland State Premier has kind of taken personal charge of this competition to make sure it's going to be able to go ahead in Australia. There's been a lot of speculation. Is it going to go to Europe? Is it going to go to South Africa? The New Zealand and uh, Aussie rugby boards have been bloody at each other's throats. They're all being seemingly quite disingenuous and pointing fingers at each other. And I've kind of had it up to here with those buggers. Um, but yeah, good news is common sense has prevailed and uh, we are going to see the resumption of the competition. We're still kind of yet to get confirmation of what is happening with that missing game. Uh, the one that the All Blacks and the Wallabies were supposed to play this weekend in Perth. It may be going to go ahead on the 4th of September in Western Australia, but that still is yet to be confirmed. But what, what is confirmed is we're going to have rounds 4 through 6 of the Rugby, rugby Championship in Queensland. And um, the schedule is kind of pretty much... Uh, the same as it was going to be. Um, so round three is going to be in the Gold Coast. Uh, the Wallabies will take on South Africa. And uh, Argentina will take on New Zealand. So it's going to be a double header there on September 12th. Uh, the fourth round is going to move to Brisbane. And it's the same fixtures. They're technically going to be switching home and away. But the only changes I guess you'll see as to what ball they're using. It is the Is it the Pumas branded ball? Is it the All Blacks branded ball? Because, you know, nobody's at home here apart from the Wallabies. So that's, uh, if anything, a bit of good news for those guys. Um, but, I mean, I'm honestly not thinking about that. At this point, all I'm thinking is, thank goodness the competition's going to go uh, ahead. Uh, round five is going to be in Townsville, so in northern Queensland. That's going to be the venue where the All Blacks take on the South Africans for their 100th game. It was supposed to be Dunedin. It's going to be Townsville, like of all places in the world. I've got nothing against Townsville. I've been there as a kid, but that is like one of the more random outcomes that could have um, happened. People will say, man, wouldn't it be great if it was at a, a packed out neutral venue like Twickenham with 80,000 fans? Even like if it was hosted in New Zealand, that'd be like an ultimate challenge for the, uh, for the Springboks guys. Or if we'd moved it to South Africa, despite no crowd, that'd be a heck of a challenge for the All Blacks to go over there. Townsville. Townsville. Uh, and yeah, that's when the, um, the Pumas will take on the Wallabies and then round six back to the Gold Coast, kind of same fixtures, All Blacks, Springboks again, Pumas, Wallabies again. So yeah, like I said, I mean, I'm just happy that they've, they've gotten things seemingly to a good point. I believe Queensland in terms of the COVID stuff is under some kind of control. Don't quote me under that, but I believe they're doing better than uh, at least some of the other areas of the country, maybe not quite as good as Western Australia, who seem to be uh, leading the way. So hopefully the All Blacks and Wallabies games get sorted out for Western Australia. They're pointing towards the 4th of September. Let's see if they can get that across the line. The All Blacks guys are going to leave. Let's hope no more childish antics from either rugby, New, Ze New Zealand rugby or uh, rugby Australia. Um, yeah, let's get on with the rugby, man. It's not that far away. September 12th does seem like quite some time as i sit here on the 24th of august but in the scheme of things not too bad i think we should be able to sort that out so it's not going to be cancelled competition's going to go on hopefully the time zone should still work for most of us like that's a that's a late evening game for us here in new zealand and for you guys in south africa europe and whatnot maybe it's the morning not sure how it works for like you guys watching in the states but anyway and um and argentina to be fair maybe that's the worst time zone for you guys, you guys will have to let me know. But anyway, happy, happy news. No more moaning, no more drama. Let the rugby commence as of the uh, the 12th of September. 12th, 18th, 25th, and then uh, through to October. So that's the um, competition. Kickoff time's still to be confirmed, but um, yeah, they've got the locations at least. So yeah, you guys have any your thoughts. Happy days, and um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys again soon.